Hello. I figured I made a I would make a cleaning video today. I'm feeling better. My face has de-swelled itself. I know that's an incorrect word. It has uh, the swelling has subsided. Yes, and I am beginning to look better and feeling better also. Um, this is some of the stuff that's been settling down over everything here in the room. And no, it is not smoke. It is actually the residue of whatever chemicals we were again bombarded with when we, uh, about a week after we moved in here, we found the first evidence of it. And it took about two months to get rid of the worst of it. Um, we had little, uh, I don't know what they are exactly. It felt sort of like little tiny bugs, but I think it is um, probably the Morgellon stuff that is more plant-like actually than bug-like. Um, more like a fungus that uh, you know like sheds its spores all over the place. This would happen um, once a day, sometimes twice a day. And I would be frantically, frantically cleaning everything, wiping even the ceiling, okay? The walls, the ceiling, washing everything. I was a regular at the local uh, laundromats, washing like a crazy woman. I had to because there was no relaxing. And, uh, you know, if you uh, wanted to just let it dissipate, it, it would take a, a year. You know, if you were going to slowly let it dis dissipate. I think the reason why they did this, whoever is responsible, is because we uh, uh, we were feeling better. I mean, we hadn't had a serious Morgellons uh, pestilence problem in uh, about a year. Um, so I was, I, if you remember, I put a video online about this uh, showing the residue in the uh, wash bucket so anyway I am still wiping the stuff off everything this is the result of uh, where this chair here is a thousand dollar chair so um, it's one of the remainders of my studio that I once had and um, yes I don't want to let go of it um, for good reason, because, uh, you know, it reminds me of uh, the good times when I was a person once. Now, Timothy, I'm still a person, but uh, when I had professional equipment and stuff, um, Timothy thought that perhaps it's the cleaner, the color of this cleaner that makes everything turn that color. However, I'm going to demonstrate right now. I got a clean paper towel here. Okay, and this table here is not too soiled, it's relatively clean. Um, I'm gonna wipe this up and no color, right? Maybe the faintest, if anything. However, now this has already been wiped about 20 times. Um, the back side turned brown color that I just showed you. This is kind of a reddish brown, yellowish, reddish brown, orange. Um, I'm going to spray it again. Okay, this is the second wipe of the back side. This is plastic. So, whoa, look. Second wipe. We actually, um, I did laundry last night and Timothy worked on Setting once again, setting up some of our equipment, what's left of it, and uh, so possibly some stuff got in the air. But this had been around anyway. The serious look at this the serious activity of the Morgellon spores had somewhat subsided it's not exploding constantly daily you know this is, it was driving me to the brink of absolute and complete nervous breakdown over and over and uh, 
I did my very best to keep everything as clean as a human being can and to keep it out of here, do it at the laundromats, but uh, yeah, people got tired of seeing me there. <laughs> Interestingly, interestingly, I saw an old guy, old hippie type with white hair and uh, red face, uh, had been through serious, serious, horrible stuff, obviously, you could tell just by looking at him, and uh, he just nodded at me, I nodded back to him, so we sort of had an understanding. Uh, third wipe, and that's the back side. The front has been wiped about 15 times already, um, so it comes back a little lighter there. Mm -hmm. Now, all this is recent again, it's probably uh, coming off us or whatever was left in the air or whenever we are uh, setting up stuff that came from the storage locker um, that we were forced to clean out recently because it was too expensive for Timothy's family to keep paying for. Um, it was a bad time because we had just moved also, so it was a bit too much all at once, but um, you know, on the other hand, I was glad to get a little lighter, right? But still there. I was glad to get some of my artwork back, like you know, this uh, uh, silk screen I did, and uh, sort of like digital raw shark I did, um, scanning light against the mirror and um, enlarging uh, areas of interest. There's shapes forming in here, interesting stuff. Anyway, my books, my art prints, everything. So I am very grateful that uh, I'm not being tortured as heavily as I was a few months ago. So yes, thank you for that. But uh, it's still difficult especially living with this kind of reality. Okay, again, let's try again. <laughs> Better this time. Yes. It does come off after a while, but uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like a, a very labor-intensive process. Especially the equipment, Timothy, they just made a video about this yesterday. The equipment has darker, dark brown, reddish brown goo on all the knobs. Uh, that was in, in 2009, that stuff was suddenly all over everything in our room. We have some good pictures, like close-ups of that goo being smeared on tweezers, personal hygiene items, and also uh, um, punctured um, food cans with that stuff smeared on it as well. So this was uh, definitely, an, you know, a concerted effort an attempt on our life, on our health. I remember, I recall in particular one date, um, which was September 9th, 2009. My birthday is to, uh, September 6th. It seems to me, oh, this is a little lighter now here, but there's still the back to be cleaned. Um, anyway, uh, it uh, occurred to us that uh, particularly heinous um, crimes were committed just 